Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Coach Chanel here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. It is Tuesday. You guys know how we roll. Um, every Tuesday, I'm on here making sure that you guys get a nice little core exercise. If you don't know, I am Coach Chanel. I am a personal trainer in person, online. Um, I'm located here in Oklahoma. We do group classes together. I weight train men and women, weight loss journeys, uh, Tuesdays, transformations. But today, I'm going to focus more so on core with this amazing BGN family. Um, I'm using that platform that they have provided to me to share my passion share my resources to you. So, um, a little bit about me. I am the owner and founder of ConfidentTraining.com. C-O-N-F-I-T-D-N-T, Confident Training. Um, it stemmed from the root of me having low self-esteem. So one day I was like, you know what? I'm tired of feeling sorry for myself. Let me pray for what I can't fix and work on what I can. And I became a bikini competitor. I was nationally qualified two years in a row, about four years ago. But now I solely just focus on bettering the lives of men and women in the general population, whether that's weight loss, um, figuring out their meal plans, mothers who want to lose those love handles, men who want to gain some muscle, and those who want to strengthen their core. And that's what we're going to do this morning for about the next 30 minutes. We're going to be warming up our core, we're going to kill our core, and then we're going to cool down. So make sure you take note and make sure that you join me every Tuesday, okay, at 11 a.m. I will be here or at 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you're going to be joining me this morning, we will be flipping the layout, roll you out a mat. If you don't have a mat, that is completely fine, okay? That is completely fine. We're going to be knocking out four together. Now, the format, okay, before we get started, every single time we start, the format stays the same. The only thing that changes are the exercises. So what I'm going to do, as I did, I introduced myself. You can introduce yourself in the comments. Let me know what brought you here today. I will be uh, saying your post, and you are uh, welcome to the comments being shared on the screen. After you do that, that after you get set, our format is 10 minutes of core, okay? How this is gonna go before we get started and as you're getting your equipment ready, we have five exercises to knock out this morning, okay? Five exercises, they're gonna last one minute each and you're gonna have 30 seconds in between to get your thoughts together, reset, get some water and get ready for the next exercise, okay? So within these five exercises, we're gonna go through two rounds, but first we're gonna warm up. Then we're going to kill our core, and then we're going to cool down again. I am Coach Chanel. You can follow me on all of my social media platforms at Gorgeous Games. And it's down there, uh, right below the, above the little ticker, at Gorgeous Games. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever you name. I am on there with Gorgeous Games, okay? So I think, I think I'm done talking, all right? I think I am done talking. Let's go ahead and lower to the ground, which means I'm going to flip you guys. And we're going to start our cool down. Mind you, I will be going in and out of the comments. Sorry, just covering you guys' face up. In and out of the comments, just to make sure that I'm not missing anybody. I want to make sure we interact. I want to make sure that we have a good, fluent conversation. Um, ask me any questions you may have, okay? This is our warm-up for our core, but I cover everything under the umbrella of fitness, okay? So while we're on down to the ground, it's time to warm up those abs. If this is your third time here, this is my third time here, you know how we're going to do this. So we're going to be on all fours, okay? We're going to start with a up and down motion. This is called our camel. This is called our cats. And this is called our camel right here. We are warming up our core. Please keep in mind, the more you exaggerate these exercise stretches, the looser you will feel when we get to our workout. This is a time when you can listen to your own music, whether it's jazz, acoustics, or hip hop. Big breath in. And big breath out. At your own pace, I want you to knock that out two more times for me. Big breath in, body comes on up, and big breath out. One more time for me. And relax. All right, so you're still on all fours. From here, you're going to put one shoulder on the ground. You're going to go through that arm. One shoulder rest on the ground, so your glutes are gonna be up towards the ceiling. You're gonna extend your arm all the way out and twist, twist, twist. We're gonna hold here for a few seconds. Taking those big breaths. As you get more comfortable, you're welcome to extend your arm up towards the ceiling. Relax your neck. Relax your neck. Now go back and forth between this movement. Go back and forth. We are warming up. Let's get this blood flowing. And three, one more, two, 
One, come back on all fours. We're gonna reset. Shake it out as you need to. And back into cat cow. All right, big breath in, roll it on up. And exhale, push it down. So your hamstrings should be getting a little bit looser as we do this. And big breath out. One more time before we do the other side. Big breath in, round it back. And exhale, tummy towards the ground. All right, take that other shoulder, place it on the ground. Again, stay here just for a few seconds. If this is hard for you to do, you probably just need to do a little bit more stretching. Visit a yoga class, maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes a day, just spending some time for yourself. You don't want to be strong, you can't touch your toes, right? All right, extend that arm straight out. This is where we're going to start to attempt to reach towards the ceiling. Remember, this is a back and forth motion. Warming up our body for the core. We got some good exercises today. In four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come back on all fours. When you get to all fours, guys, we're going to slowly go into Chinese squat. Warming up that spine, inner thighs, and chest. This is something that they say 80% of Americans cannot do. It's a form of flexibility that the Chinese practice. They don't have a lot of benches around, so they usually wait for their, their bus or subway or their train, just like this. Pushing those hips up, keep your feet flat on the ground, all right? If you need an example, just look at your coach. In three, two, one from here, booty on the ground, butterfly stretch. Relax those hips, make sure you keep your back straight. Continue those big breaths. We're gonna practice a tight core during our workout as well. For those just joining me, say hi. Let me know what brought you to class today. If this is your first time joining me, your second time, or your third time, I appreciate you guys hopping on in. All right, back straight, heels close. We're gonna go into our cobra here in a few seconds. In four, three, two, one. Let's go ahead and roll onto your tummy. Legs flat on the ground, and we're gonna bring our chest up towards the ceiling. Now, various ways to knock out cobra. This is a yoga move. What you have to do is relax your lower body. You have to relax. That's a hard thing for people, to relax. Lower body is dead weight. Elbows are locked, chest is up towards the ceiling. Take a big breath and relax your core. Now you can hold here or you can come to your forearms and do the exact same thing. It depends on how your hips, your lower back, and everything else is made. For me, I have very long limbs. So this right here is a, a lot more efficient for me. Do what works, play in this stretch, Move your hips side to side. Just stretch out your core. Make sure it's ready for movement. The blood is flowing between those abdominals. Still holding here. You can go up and down or you can hold. From here, we're gonna push back into child's pose. Feet are flat on the ground. Push your hips back. Forehead to the ground. Breathe it all out. Big breath in through the nose. As big as you can, fill those ribs and lungs up with air and exhale slowly through your mouth. Repeat this for two more times. And one more time. Slowly come all the way up, round it back. All right, I always say that our warm-up is done, don't you think? All right, make sure you keep that water handy. As I said before, what we're gonna be knocking out is a 10-minute core exercise. Within these 10 minutes, we're gonna have our minute exercise and our 30-second break, okay? If we have our scissors, our plank jacks, our tornadoes, our dumbbell crunch, and march to toe touch, okay? I will have all of these exercises shown on the screen so you know exactly what we're going to do, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate the first one. Again, keep your water close, okay? Let me bring you guys down. You gotta keep in mind that you guys need to see what I'm doing, right? All right, perfect. So we got five exercises. I'm gonna demonstrate a few and then you're gonna join me, okay? Don't have me working out by myself, all right? So we're gonna start with scissors. 
We're gonna come right here. Shoulders are off the mat. Knees are slightly bent for 60 seconds. After we do this for one minute, we're gonna take a 30 second break, move on, 30, yes, 30 second break, and then move on to the next exercise, okay? I'll be there every step of the way. You do the best that you can. Hopefully you do better than last week and the week before. You guys ready? All right, starting here in about five, four, three, two, and scissor. Now, if you're a beginner, you can place your hands under your booty to hold you more secure. Your lower back should be flat on the ground. Shoulders are up. You're welcome to hold your hands behind your head, to the side, under your booty. Just keep those legs going at a steady pace. Keep your core tight, keep your chin towards the ceiling or tucked in towards your chest. Hands are there for moral support. Keep on moving till time's up. We're taking big breaths. Inhale and exhale. First exercise of the morning. We got 20 seconds left before our break. Perfect, these are our scissors, keep on moving. Again, slightly bend your knees if you need to. If your hips are popping, slightly bend your knees. 10 seconds left. Let's go, let's go. In three, two, one. Reset, it's time for that water. Now this is our 30 second break, okay? I don't have 40 for you, I don't have a minute. 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, we're gonna go to plank jacks. Okay, still taking your break. We're gonna start right here. Out and in. Out and in. If you need to modify, you can tap back and forth. Those are called plank jacks. That's really gonna get your heart rate up. You guys ready? Plank jacks here in just a few. Just sorry about the change of, there we go. All right, one minute, three, Two, one, plank jacks right here. Elbows locked. Palms over your shoulders. Pacing yourself, I'm keeping track. Again, step it out if you need to. This is a modification. Big breath. 30 seconds left, keep that tummy tight. Just stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Looking good. 15 seconds left. 10. Do not quit, we're taking a break here in a little bit. Five, four, three, two, and down. We're moving on to the next one. Take that break. How you guys feeling? Leave those comments down. Whew. Not too bad so far. So next one, we're gonna go into our tornadoes. You're still taking your 30 second break though. Tornadoes is for your lower abs. You're gonna have your feet straight in the air. You're gonna engage your core, twist, reset. Twist and reset. We're gonna do this for one minute. Again, if you're a beginner, hands under your booty. If you kinda wanna take it up a notch, hands behind your head, okay? 60 seconds, are you guys ready? In three, two, one, start the tornadoes. So we're twisting our hips, staying in one spot. You should not be moving all across the way. When your hips come up, you're not pushing your legs up. You're using your core to switch those hips left to right. Good, you got it. Good, inhale and exhale. Perfect, keep it up, keep it up. 20 seconds left. Y'all feel those abs going? <laughs> Abs on fire. Focus, focus, focus. I'll be thinking about lunch. Think about what you're doing now. Got it. In three, two, 
one and relax. Nice job, guys. Nice job. We're taking our 30 second break. This is our water time. We have two more exercises before we get a full break. <sighs> Not too bad. I will say on the next exercise, you're gonna need a dumbbell. Now that dumbbell is optional. You don't have to use it, but it is encouraged, okay? We have dumbbell crunches coming up next. So with this dumbbell you're gonna grab, you're gonna keep it on the ground. Keep it close to your chest because I want the weight distributed on your chest for your core, not out here for your arms, okay? So go ahead and grab that dumbbell. I'm gonna get the timer started. Let us know what came, okay? And three, two, one, and crunch. A crunch is your shoulders off the mat. That's all we're gonna do. Chin up towards the ceiling. Strong core. Keep that dumbbell across your nipple line. You never want the dumbbell across your face. Perfect. Pace and push. Focus on that core. Big breath, looking good, guys. The slower, the better when it comes to core. Slow and steady. Make sure you use the big muscles in your abs, small muscles. Strong pulses, you got it. Time is moving quick on this one. We're coming up on 10 seconds left. See how strong that six pack is. And four, three, two, one, and relax. Dumbbells out of the way. Y'all warm? <laughs> I'm getting a little warm in here. 30 second break. This is exercise five. Remember our format. We do five exercises, a minute each, with 30 second break in between, okay? So we're taking our 30 second break now. We're in the midst of it now. How you guys feeling? Leave it in the comments. <sighs> Let me know if this is your first, second, or third time uh, joining my live. Okay, let me know how many times you've come and visited, how consistent you are, how better your core has been. Um, maybe let me know if you started doing core or you started using these actual exercises that we do in class in your regular workout routine, okay? So our last one, guys, we're gonna go into March to Toe Touch. No dumbbells, nothing fancy. You're gonna start on your back as they all have been started. You're gonna go armpit to knee and then raise all the way for Toe Touch. So March and then toe touch. We're gonna alternate for one minute. Are you ready? And three, two, one, let's go. March, come up for toe touch. And march, come up for toe touch. Big breath. Pace and push. Inhale and exhale. Stay strong, stay strong. Big breath, especially when it gets hard. You're welcome to relax your head on the ground as you need to. You'll build up to full capacity, but don't push too hard. We don't wanna start any, any injuries in this 20, 30 minute class. 10 seconds left. Stay with it, stay with it. Three, two, one, and relax. <laughs> Woo! One minute, guys. One minute. That is the first half of our exercises, okay? Now, mind you, when you get really used to it and you actually start to see some results from continuing class, <coughs> excuse me, um, you won't have to stop. Um, and what I mean by that is this 30 second break that we take, you won't need it anymore. Or you'll be able to take less of a break. So maybe it'll go down from 30 seconds to 20 seconds, or 20 seconds to 10 seconds, or 10 seconds to continuing it all the way through. So that means you'll be doing 10 minute core and it'll actually only take you 10 minutes instead of 20 minutes, you know? Um, and making sure that you incorporate this throughout your workout, um, whether you are trying to uh, slim down your tummy, Get rid of your love candles. Please keep in mind that all, all of this is an enhancement. 
all of this is um, basically in addition to what you need to do. For you to actually see some results in your core, you have to change your diet. You have to eat right. More lean meats, uh, more fruits, more vegetables, um, more complex carbs such as sweet potatoes and rice, uh, quinoa, brown rice, uh, cauliflower rice, uh, corn tortillas, uh, potatoes, things that have more substance to it and that stay in your system longer than candy and popcorn and stuff like that. So the more you educate yourself and focus on your plates, your cabinet, and your refrigerator, the more uh, you'll see results in your tummy when it comes to how toned you look. And that just goes for any body part, okay? Um, whether you're trying to build muscle or lose weight, you have to eat right. You cannot run faster than your fork. Okay, now that our break is over, we're gonna go through all of these exercises one more time, ladies and gents, to conclude our 10 minute core. This is really done five minutes. We're gonna go back to our scissors, back to our plank jacks, our tornadoes, our dumbbell crunch, and our march to toe touch. So go ahead and get set because I'm gonna get started here in 10 seconds with our scissors. You ready? Armpit to knee, scissors are going in three, two, one, and scissor right here. Round number two. Take a big breath. Again, slightly bend your knees if you need to. Let's be better than the first round. Perfect. Take your time on those scissors. My muscle. Focus on your core. Focus on your core. 20 seconds left. Hold your head if you need to. Take a break if you need to. Perfect. A couple more reps. Four, three, two, one. Take a 30 second break. 30 second break. This is our second round. We got plank jacks next, okay? Remember, you can go fast if you want to, but I'm gonna be doing the modification. The slower, the better when it comes to core. Again, those joining us, let us know. How you doing? How you feeling? <laughs> we got plank jacks. So everybody in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna be doing all fours, because we're gonna knock out this core. Whew. Get those arms ready. Three, two, one and plank jack right here. Remember modification right here. Whichever you're doing, pace yourself. Tummy stays tight. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Inhale and exhale, pace and push. Go back and forth between the two if you need to. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds left. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish up strong. Five, four, three, two. Woo! Take that 30 second break. That one is hard, okay? I had to throw that little curveball in there. So y'all didn't get too comfortable with this easy stuff. Taking your 30 second break, shake out your arms, get some water. We've got tornadoes next, okay? Lower abs are next. All right, less than 10 seconds. We're starting exercise three. You ready? Backs are gonna be on the mat. Legs extended straight up. This is where we twist in our lower abs. Get set. Three, two, one. Tornadoes right here. You know you got to twist in the tornado, right? Keep that tummy tight. Keep it up, keep it up. Big breath. Stay strong. 
You got it, you got it. 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and relax. Hopefully that round you got a little bit better. You guys are doing a great job. Go ahead and get some water. We're moving on to exercise four, okay? So you have that dumbbell, grab it. If you have that dumbbell, grab it. Dumbbell sit up crunch. If you don't have it, that's completely fine. You're still working it out. You're still working it out. One minute, okay? Coming up on 10 seconds left before we get started. Are you good? I know you're warm and you're tired, but you good? Okay, awesome. Grab that dumbbell. 60 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's dumbbell crunch. Remember, with a crunch, shoulders just come off the mat. push it. It's burning because it's working. You got 13 seconds left. Perfect. Push it out. Two more. Three, two, one, and relax. <laughs> Woo! We got one more, y'all. One more. Take your 30-second break. We got March to Toe Touch coming up. Almost time for that cool down. You guys are killing it. March to toe touch. Last minute, that'll be our 10 minute pour. Hopefully you got better than the last time you did this. That is the goal. Every Tuesday at 11 a.m. or 12 p.m., you feel the difference. You last longer, your core is this tight, and you can push through. Let's not have these March to toe touches, and then go into our cool down. In three, two, one, March to toe touch. March and sit all the way up. You should be meeting your leg in the middle. Perfect, keep it up, keep it up. Perfect. Inhale and exhale, this is our last minute. Don't give up, do not give up. Slow down and pause if you need to, but we are not quitters. Let's stay with it. Good. Big breath, big breath, big breath. 10 seconds left, come on, come on, come on. In four, three, two, one. Bring both of your knees towards your chest, guys. It's time to cool down. Five minutes, we're gonna cool down. Catch your breath, get some water if you need to. Join me, join me. Hold your knees in close, about side to side. This is the perfect lower back stretch. It relieves your lower back. But you gotta relax your legs. Relax your legs. Bring one knee, all, bring one leg all the way down towards the ground. You're gonna hold the other, but it's gonna go across the opposite thigh. Lower back stretch. Relax your neck, your shoulders, your mouth, your jaw. Cool on down, stretch you out. Go ahead and switch to the other side. Adjust your body, make sure you're straight. Take that leg across the opposite thigh, drop that knee. Big breath. From 
here. Extend both of your legs straight out in front of you. Come all the way up for a toe touch. Bounce in and out, or you can hold and slowly get deeper and deeper. Go ahead and separate those legs and hold in the middle. We're bringing our heart rate down, we're stretching it out. Bring your legs back together, one foot across the opposite thigh. Keep your chest up. If your lower back is hurting for any reason, this is a really good stretch for it, whether you're working out with me or working out later. Make sure you stretch, okay? The way that we're doing our core workout is the way that you need to apply all of your workouts. You warm up, you work out, you do core, and you cool down and switch. There's no shortcuts to full health, okay? Flexibility, cardio, core, strength, all of those are just as important. There's no one that outweighs the other. Because once you focus on one, you neglect and create issues for the other. For example, if you weight train and that's all you do, and you don't stretch or do cardio, you're gonna get out of breath every time you go up the stairs, or your back is gonna hurt because your core's not strong, or you can't pick up something without pulling something because you're not flexible. Butterfly stretch, make sure you pay attention to all realms of fitness, specifically targeting the men, <laughs> specifically the men. Continue to hold that butterfly stretch, guys. Keep your chest up, your back straight. Got a comment going on, 2.0. Okay, the bullet says, got to show 2.0. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. All right, guys, slip on over. We're gonna go into Cobra and then Child's Pose to end this workout. Cobra should feel a little bit looser. Stretch out the core. your hips back into child's pose. Last 20 seconds. Slowly raise all the way up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Give yourself a round of applause. You guys are amazing today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, as you know, my name is Coach Chanel. I am the owner, founder of Confident Training. I'm here with you guys every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Okay, we're, we're knocking out some core. Okay, we got to get our abs together. Okay, um, again, abs are made in the kitchen. You can do as many crunches, um, as many pull-ups, as much whatever you want to do. But if you're not taking care of yourself when it comes to the cabinet and the refrigerator, you're never going to get that sculpted ab tight and tone look that you are desired to get. Um, again, I want to thank uh, BGN for giving me the platform um, to share my passion with you guys. Um, follow them on all social media platforms, not just being YouTube, but Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram. I'm not sure if they have a Snapchat, but BGN, um, it is basically Bird Gang Nation Sports Talk. Um, they have basically given me the platform to use it. And I want you to right now remember at Gorgeous Games, okay? My name is Chanel. My platforms are at Gorgeous Games. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, okay? I love what I do. I hope and I pray that it shows. Um, it's also located here, right here, Gorgeous Games over there. And um, yes, every Tuesday, I need you to join me. Join with a friend, join with a coworker. Take about 20, 30 minutes to just be in tune with your body, okay? Uh, the Bullets, thank you so much for the support, for sharing the uh, being left in the comments. And for those watching later, 
All right, drop those comments. I come back. I follow up to see how everybody's doing. But until next time, guys, follow me. I'm out. See you next Tuesday.